The National Social Security Fund, NSSF, has not had a substantive managing director for about nine months now, after Richard Biarogaba's contract expired last year. The fund engaged audit and management firm PricewaterhouseCoopers to recruit Biarogaba's replacement. They also sought a deputy MD and corporation secretary, and the jobs were advertised locally and internationally to enhance competition. Uganda has very many young, capable people who've studied here and abroad, who are experienced in such matters. So I felt that as in my custodial role, I needed to be able to say to Uganda, to Parliament, that yes, we looked everywhere. We looked everywhere and this is what we've got and this is what we're going to do. MPs say the delay is unnecessary since the fund spent about 500 million shillings in the recruitment process. But there have been claims that Finance Minister Maria Chiwanuka deliberately delayed the appointment of the successful candidates in a move to return either former MD Biarogaba or Joseph Chitamarike, since they reportedly hold accounting qualifications. Yet Edgar Agaba emerged best in the interviews. I've been a lot, under a lot of pressure by different groups to stampede me into appointing A, B, C, X, Y, or Z. But the minister who was appearing before the select parliamentary committee investigating financial mismanagement and nepotism in NSSF denied underhand dealings. The allegation that we have already with us is that there is a relationship between you, your husband, and the, the chair. Uh, the media report uh, was that uh, the president directed you to appoint the former MD. My husband has no business dealings with the chairman of NSSF board. They are acquaintances, but they have no business dealings. The minister was also grilled to her role in the purchase of shares in power distributor Umeme, a company seen by some critics as inefficient, and that NSSF may not get returns on its investment. But it is claimed that Minister Chiwanuka, acting MD Geraldine Sally, and board chairman Ivan Chayonka reportedly defied the Solicitor General's advice and bought Umeme shares at 69 billion shillings. The minister says she only gave advice as the political head and that the board made the final decision on the purchase. So it's a mix of economics and a mix of politics to see social well-being. So I gave my guidance to the management and the board of NSSF. And then theirs was the business decision. Minister Chiwanuka, I have explained that government wants NSSF to venture into long-term income generating projects to ensure good returns on workers' savings. Moses Sakena, NTV.